Good morning, everybody. Today I'm uh, headed out for thrift stores just to do the usual thrift runs. It's 8.30, I'm getting an early start trying to be at the uh, Goodwill that I'm headed to by the time it opens. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it is a cold, wet day. So uh, forecast calls for rain all day. Let's hope we stay dry. But I wanna bring you along today and just kinda of show you where I'm headed, the types of things I'm finding, and uh, just uh, provide feedback as I can in the store or in the car in between. So thank you for watching this video, and let's see what I find. Hopefully we get some good stuff today and come back with uh, a really good uh, amount of treasure. That's what I'm hoping for, so let's go. No way. Paying that, but great shoes. So I'm looking at the shoes, and I have a hard time finding great shoes here. But look at these Merrells; these are great. Haven't found a pair like this in a while. Forty bucks should be an easy flip. And then besides shoes, the other section that I check first when I go into a thrift store is the boutique section. Basically, that just means the nicer items, the places they've put like newest tags items, and usually they don't charge that much. Instead of four, it's like eight bucks. But here are these North Face pants. They had a mark on the back. They were eleven dollars. Kind of steep for North Face, anyways. Definitely not getting them with the mark. And I'm just kind of looking through some of these items to see if there's anything worth picking up. I would say usually when I'm looking at this section, I find a lot of women's jeans, which I don't flip much. Occasionally, I'll find an item or two that I pick up from this section that's worth thirty plus. And like I said, I'm usually not paying that much to get those items, especially new with tags. Here's a blazer by Taylor Bird, uh, just a department store brand, not worth picking up. And this last item that I'm going to show you in the boutique rack of this store was a Ralph Lauren shirt. And typically I would pick up a shirt like this. You know, eight is kind of steep. It's got the great color logo on the chest. Um, and if, if it were a better size, I'd pick it up, but it was a medium, so I left it behind. And then if you've been watching any videos of mine lately, you know that Woolrich is a brand that's been improving in my store. I've been selling some Woolrich flannels for great money. Should get in the 30s for that. Here's another Ralph Lauren that uh, was a bigger size, but the color and it's wrinkled, I just left it behind. So this is an example of a Ralph Lauren I do not pick up. And then I've mentioned this in the video before, but I'm trying to find goods outside of clothing. So I look at this new with tags, travel golf bag. It's uh, huge and heavy, it'd be hard to ship. I probably saw it locally, but comps were only $35 to $45, and I don't want to sit on something that large for a while. I think it was $15. So basically, I'm just looking here at the games. I didn't find anything worth picking up, but I wanted to show you what I was seeing. And then as I was heading to the, the checkout, I saw this in the women's section. Occasionally, you'll find these pieces. That was a men's shirt in women's section. It's XL, 100% linen. Great color. I think that's Madras. The sleeves are a little wrinkled, but for something like this, I should get 30 to $35. All right, leaving the Goodwill. Got a receipt right here, $49.50 $49 is what I spent there. Um, got like, I think 15 items is what I counted. So a pair of shoes, three or four pairs of pants, and uh, like the rest shirts. Um, from the footage you probably saw, I'm, I'm trying to branch out more into non-clothing items. So I'm trying to find items that sell for good money that are in the home goods or like the games or um, the sporting goods as well. So I kind of started looking around in those areas to see if I could find anything. Didn't have any real luck finding anything today, but I know that if I keep looking, I'll start learning items and uh, I'll start finding some things in those sections. So um, yeah, happy with that one. That was 15 items and got some really good stuff. A lot of bread and butter items, two pairs of Polo Ralph Lauren pants that were new with tags, like dress slacks. And so those are an easy $30, $35 flip from $4 paid. So yeah, I'm happy with uh, this, this stop right here this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and drive over to the next Goodwill. That's usually a money hole for me and see what we can find there. All right, we made it to Goodwill stop number two. Let's go in and see if we can find some treasure. All right, so here we are, store number two. Guess where? I'm going right to the boutique section. Looking through a bunch of women's stuff. I don't pick up women, so 
passing on all this. I did come across quite a bit of these new with tags. Lula Row, I think is how you pronounce it. But in my opinion, doesn't have a lot of value. So I ended up passing on a bunch of that. Van Houston is a brand I see quite a bit. New with tags, still gonna pass it up. Probably worth 15 to $20. But look at these, and this camera angle is kind of bad, but it's Polo Ralph Lauren size 46 dress pants for 10 bucks. Those are money, should get, I'd say around $40 for those. And then I came across these jeans and I was gonna look them up and completely forgot. So, oops, my bad on that one. They were $11. Wasn't sure if that was worth it or not. I never looked them up, but then right behind those found another pair of polo shorts with tags. They were $8 in size 46. So two great steals off this boutique rack. $17 for golf shoes. No way. Way overpriced. But check this out. Not priced, so they were just the generic $6 for shoes. Hoka running shoes. If you don't know Hoka, you should check that brand out. They're like $150 to $200 new, but used. They have a resale value of $50 to $100. Those are in great condition. Did not find any other shoes on this rack to pull off. All right, got some uh, Ralph Lauren to show you. Would have considered that it was a larger size, but it was short sleeve. Short sleeve doesn't sell as well. You're really looking for dress shirts that are like more business dress shirts. So long sleeve, great colors. Those didn't qualify. But I did find this Peter Millar Summer Comfort. It was a medium, but great colors on that. That shirt will go for a minimum of 30 to $35. And the last thing I believe that I videoed in this store were these brand new with tags, eight bucks, Tommy Hilfiger chino shorts. All right, just leaving that Goodwill. I spent a total of uh, just under $47 and got probably 10 items. And the most of the items that I got, I showed you in the store. At least I think I showed you three or four of them. So I won't go over all of them, but I'll, I'll do a quick uh, like three or four item recap. But this was a sweet find. These are Hoka's. Hoka's is a great running shoe. Men's and women's sell really well. And these are Clifton 5s. Usually um, it's either on the outside of the shoe, on the tongue, or on the inside label. And so these are size 14. They've got a little wear on them, as you can see. But looking up comps, just because they are a larger size, there's not as many out there. Looking up comps, I should get at least a minimum of five. Uh, five. <laughs> that would be a fail. $50. And uh, there's someone selling these exact same shoes, same color, everything for 68 right now. So I would say conservatively 50 to $60 for these shoes and I paid four or $5 for these. So great find there. Um, I didn't show you, no, actually I did show you this in the store. This is a brand that I haven't picked up in a while and I actually have only gotten a couple of these. Uh, it's a golf brand and it's called Loudmouth. And they're just really colorful, bright patterns, like striped and checkered shorts. And these are actually American flag golf shorts. I was pleasantly surprised when I looked up comps, I was thinking 25 to $30. And there are a few sold comps for these around the 35 to $45 range. So a little higher than I thought. So for something I paid $4 for, should get an easy 35, if not 40 um, on those shorts. And then you saw me pick up these two pairs of one pair of Polo Ralph Lauren shirts, new uh, sh shirts, Polo Ralph Lauren shorts, khaki shorts, and a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren pants, both new with tags. I paid eight to ten dollars for each of these, and I should get at least I'd say thirty five dollars, um, thirty five to forty five range as well for those. Probably list them at just under fifty, forty five to fifty each, and then I'll entertain offers in the high thirties and low forties. And then the last one I'll show you today, I was kind of hesitant on this. I paid eight bucks. There's a tag $7.97 for these Tommy Hilfiger shorts. Tommy Hilfiger is a brand that doesn't do so well, but because it was new with tags, I went ahead and snatched them. $8, those were like, um, like a khaki, I mean, not really in color, but just shorts, green, um, size 30, a little on a smaller end. I would say minimum, I should get at least $25 because they were new with tags, maybe even 30. So probably list these around 35 and entertain offers, um, high 20s, low 30s in there. But yeah, I was hesitant just because they were eight bucks, but uh, I still should make you know 10 to $15 profit once they do sell. 
Um, it's just that Tommy stuff, you can find it in, you know, a lot of like uh, Nordstrom racks and TJ Maxx and things like that. And, and so because you can find it, you know, those places, people are selling them, you know, they're doing retail arbitrage, they're picking them up for like 10 bucks and then flipping them um, for 20, 25. So you have to be careful with some of these retail arbitrage items like the Tommy Hill figure. There's just so much stuff out there, but you know, I'm, you know, trying to build up my inventory and $10 profit if I can make that, which I think I probably easily can. Um, it's still a great, is still a great profit margin. I don't typically want to average $10 on um, my items, but on the low end, I will average 10. So those are four items that I got here. Um, got about four or five more. Uh, I'll, I won't show you all of them just for time's sake, but let's go to the next Goodwill. This next place I'm going to is actually a little higher priced. I don't get too too much there just because they're charging like six, eight, ten dollars for a shirt. But occasionally I can find some steals, um, so I probably won't spend a lot of time there, and I may or may not record. But we'll see what I get, and then move on to the next. Here we are at the next stop. Masks on. All right, here is a Ralph Lauren that I will pick up. XL, great colors, horse on the chest. I think I paid six bucks. Carbon to Cobalt is a somewhat new brand for me. This brand I hate, <laughs> I hate more than anything else. And I see it all the time. Here's a shirt I passed up because it was a medium size and it was $8. All right, I left that Goodwill and uh, I found a lot of really good items. I'm really glad that I went there because honestly, I, last night I was thinking through the stores I was gonna hit and I was just gonna skip it and something in me said, you need to go to it. And uh, I thought I forgot about it again this morning and it popped up in my head. And so, yeah, glad I went. It was a good, good store. Typically it's higher price, like I said, but you know, last night, I'm reaching for a few items, let me show you. Last night I was watching another YouTuber, Ready, Set, Resell, which he's got a great channel. I've learned so much from him. Um, he does clothing, but also hard goods and sports stuff and just gets a good mix of stuff. So, so last night I was watching him and just encouraged to look outside the clothing aisle, which I've been trying to do lately more. And today I just did that, went, um, obviously did all the clothing stuff that I normally look for, but then got into hard goods and the sporting goods and games and things just to see if I could find some items to flip for pretty good money. And I did find a couple of good items, so I'm glad that I, I did venture out of the clothing black hole. But um, I'll show you this first item. I picked up like eight to 10 of these for two bucks a piece and they're brand new in the box. I didn't have really good cell service, so I couldn't look these up. I tried, but um, they're leapfrog games that are like the learning game system. So I'm, I'm guessing it's like a cartridge or a book in here. And this, most of these are in Spanish, so four to six year olds. I'm hoping that uh, these will be worth, you know, 20, 25 bucks. I don't know, maybe some of you out there know, but I'll look them up here in a second, see what they go for. Um, $2, shouldn't be hard to get my money back on that. Um, but yeah, I picked up eight or 10 of these. And then another non-clothing item, which I, I usually look in the backpacks, but Osprey's a great outdoor brand. This is an older backpack. It was $2. Not sure if you can see the, well, you can't really see the tag on it, but it was $2 and uh, comps on this go for around like 30 bucks. So that's a great flip. And that's something that will go in a, a flatter priority mail box. And then I'll show you a couple clothing items that I got. I haven't found this brand in a while, especially in shirts, but pull the tag up. There's Cool, K-U-H-L. It's a really nice um, outdoor shirt. I think it's, I think it's cotton blend. No, 100% polyester, which is great. I was worried it was cotton, but I paid $6 for it. I paid $6 for it and Cool has come down some. There are a lot of sellers starting to sell these clothing items, but it's still a, a brand that I will recommend picking up. Pants, uh, shirts, jackets, things like that are all uh, great resale value for that shirt. I should get somewhere between 30 to $35 since it is long sleeved. If it were short sleeved, probably 30. Another outdoor brand. This will be the last item I show you here and then um, I'm gonna go into this next Goodwill. 
see if you can recognize that outdoor brand by the logo there in the back pocket. These are like convertible um, pants, nylon pants, and that is Mountain Khaki. Mountain Khaki is a great brand. It's not as, not as, um, you won't get as much money as cool, but for the, something like that, the, the nylon zip off pants, shorts combo, I should get at least $30 for those. And I think those were four bucks. Yeah, they were four bucks, 36 by 32, which is a great size. So Mountain Khaki, you want to find the, um, Sorry, you wanna find the uh, like the heavy, really heavy pants. Those go for 25 to 30. So very happy with that find and glad that I stopped there because I did find some great items to flip. So now I'm at a Goodwill um, further north from where I live and uh, I've been driving quite a bit today. This is store number four. I'm gonna go in and then usually I can find some good vintage pieces here. This is like a retirement community, so a lot of times when people die, they donate their stuff here, um, and I come in and scoop up the like vintage pieces. So I found some really good LL beans here before, and um, other um, Polo Ralph Laurens and items like that that are vintage that go for money. So I'm gonna go in, and I'm actually getting really, really hungry. Usually I eat by now, but I, I'm chancing it because I'm still like 20 minutes away from the restaurant I'm gonna go to. But I'm gonna go in here, get some items, try and make this a quick trip, then go get lunch because I'm about to eat my arm off. So anyways, let's go. All right, guys, I'm back. That was probably the best haul of the day at this thrift store. Um, I've got a few items to show you and I'm keeping up with the uh, non-clothing items trend. I'll start this with this item that I showed you in the store. It's a Magellan Explorist 500 handheld GPS device. Great for like hunting or hikers or things like that. It's, it's an older model, but I've sold one of these before, not this exact model but Magellan for like 40 bucks used this one just had the charger and the unit didn't have like the instructions and the manual or anything so I still saw a, a sold comp for just the unit for 50 bucks so I paid 1121 there um, pro tip about this is what I'll do this Goodwill accepts returns so I'm gonna keep the sticker on this for sure I'm gonna take it home charge it up see if it works maybe put some batteries in it, just make sure that it works. And if it doesn't, I'll bring it back and get my $12 back. So this is kind of a, you know, risk-free purchase right here. If it doesn't work, great, that's fine. Um, I'll bring it back. And if it does, I should get 50 or $60 for this. I didn't show you this in the store because they were at the register in like the glass case, but I got a brand new pair of Birkenstock sandals. You can see there's no wear on them. At least I don't believe there are. I paid up for those. I don't know if you can see that. For some reason, it's not showing the tag, but it, I paid $25 for those sandals. Brand new, they go for about 60 or 70. That was right on the line. So if they had been 30 or more, I probably wouldn't have picked them up, but $25, I'll clean them up. I'm, I'm still trying to decide if these are new or used, but if they are used, they've only been worn once or twice. So. Um, I shouldn't have a problem getting 50 to 60 if they're used. And like I said, if they're new, probably 60 to 70. I'll show you a couple more items and then I'll move on to the next store. I showed you this in the store, but this is a very heavy 
Harley Davidson sweater. I've actually never found a Harley Davidson sweater before. It's got the skull on the back. It's got um, the Harley Davidson logo on the bottom there. And it's a 2XL, it's black, it's heavy, button up, fisherman style sweater. These fisherman sweaters sell really well and I wanna see if it's 100% uh, it's cotton, which is fine. Um, that's what I would have guessed, but wool would have been better. But I'm guessing, honestly, I haven't looked up comps, so I'm really just guessing. But I would say minimum of $40 on this Harley Davidson. It's a great brand. If you don't ever find Harley, be on the lookout for these um, as far as just the brand in general. But this sweater, man, I, I would guess at least 40 But confidently, I feel like I can say closer to 50 and up for something this heavy, 2XL, black. Um, with Harley, you want larger sizes for sure just because... They sell faster. Um, so that was a sweet find and I paid, uh, what did I pay? I paid 1091, which paid up for that, but obviously for something that's gonna go for 40 or 50, that's a no brainer. The last item I wanna show you is kind of the banger of the, the whole store. Um, I paid $20 for this item. So I paid up for quite a few of these items. This is a Carhartt, there's the tag. There's $20. It's a blanket lined. I looked this up and I didn't know there was like a such a thing as a blanket line, but this is what this is, a blanket lined jacket. I can't show you the whole thing because it's huge, but it's like a field jacket that goes down like halfway between, you know, your waist and your knees. So it's a really long jacket and the size is excellent. It's 52, which is a large size. I don't know what the equivalent of that is, whether that would be like 3XL, 4XL, but um, or 2XL, I don't know. But there are two sold comps for these. The blanket lined is the keyword, and one was for 100 and one was for 125. So um, when I saw that, that was an easy decision to pick that up for 20 bucks. I'll list that right away so that I can get that $100 sale on that item or more. Um, but once I sell that, let's say I get $100 for it, subtract out the 20 and then probably $15 to ship and $15 in fees. I'm looking at a profit of at least $50. If it goes for more, obviously more than that. So that I, I was also doubting coming up here because a lot of these thrift stores I'm showing you today are drives for me. They're 15, 20 minutes to get to each one. And I am so glad that I came here because this did not disappoint. So now I'm hungry. I'm gonna go get some food. Before I go get food, let me tell you, it's been a slow day today. I've gotten two pretty decent sales. Um, that's all I've got, two offers. I sold a pair of um, Burton ski pants, like women's that I'd had. They had a rip in the back on the leg. So I had them for 40, person made an offer for 30 and I took it. I think because I had had those for so long, that's the reason why I went ahead and took that offer because I'd had them for over a year, uh, maybe even longer than that. And then the second sale of the day was another item that I'd had for a long time and I was actually surprised that it didn't go for more than it and faster. I probably had it for a year. It was a Duluth 2XL like fly fishing vest or fishing vest. It was a great color, it was brown. Maybe I'll tag these up here. But um, I, I was actually shocked that it just sold. I got a best offer for 30 and I was thinking, you know, I've been sitting on this item for a while. and. Even though you think you may get more for an item, if you've been sitting on it for a year, it's time to accept lower offers. So I had it for 40, I think, just like the Burton ski pants. A buyer came in and made an offer for 30 and I took it. So two sales for 60 bucks today. I may have to put my store on sale to get some more, get some more sales, we'll see. Anyways, let's go eat. I'll show you my favorite lunch spot in the whole Northwest Arkansas area. It's fried chicken, which is just, yummy to me but i'll show you what it is this is where i go once a week when i thrift so let me show you all right just finished lunch i'm here at store number five and uh this is a small store so i'm only in these this store usually for like 10 minutes and then it's, the guys section is pretty Pretty small, but I usually get some really good stuff here. So there were a couple of jackets here last time, Arc Directs, and they were a hundred bucks each. hundred bucks for a jacket, it was like a down jacket, 50 for a vest. Um, and so I'm hoping that they're like half price so I can grab them if they haven't sold already. 
but hundred dollars is a lot to pay for that jacket even though i could have pocketed probably 50 profit so let's see what i can find i'll show you when i get back all right like i said it was a quick trip literally less than 10 minutes probably the least amount of items that i've ever bought here because normally i walk out with close to 10 items got this polo jeans hoodie new with tags it was in the men's section it's a medium but i'm pretty sure it's a women's um, or kids it's it's small i paid 12 dollars. i mean it's a medium but it looks small i paid 12 dollars for it um easily should get 30 to 40 on that thing um and then this next item was new with tags as well it is a cabela's like flannel and it is xl retails for 30 bucks that's kind of what i expect to get so i'll put it up um, for 25 or $30, probably 30 and hope to get, um, at least 25. That shouldn't be hard, but I paid $12. That's probably, um, probably a little high for the return that I'm going to get. So, um, if I had seen that tag in there that said retail for 30, I probably would have not picked it up, but what I'll do is I'll rip that off and then resell it. So they don't need to know that it retails for 30, pay whatever their value is, right? And lastly, this is a great piece. I paid $12 for it as well. There's another cool item for you right there. And this is the alpaca fleece. It's um, a men's large, could be women's actually. I just saw that right there, the cursive cool. And sometimes the cursive cool is women's. So this may be men's or women's, but either way it will sell well. And so I've sold a couple of these before for around that $40 range. So I paid 12 bucks for it. It's lightweight, so it will go first class. Should get $40, uh, very minimum 35. So yeah, only spent $40 at that store, but um, we are on to the Goodwill bins next. All right, leaving the Goodwill bin, spent a total of $11.12. There's the receipt, you can't really see it, but uh, eight pounds of clothing, got some got some sweet deals. First up, man, whites are having a hard time today. Walt Disney World visor, there it is. Um, look this up, there's a comp for around like $20, so paid less than a buck into 20, that's great. And then this next item is a heavy leather jacket. It's got like this Sherpa lined on the inside. It's Wilson's leather. And the only thing was it has this at the bottom and I could tell that that could, would, will come up. So I'm gonna clean that up. It's um, a very big, heavy coat. It's a black leather, or at least I think it's leather. Yeah, with a hood. So I should get upwards of $50 for something like that. I didn't look up comps because, you know, for paying like four or five bucks, I know that, you know, I can make 20, $30 easy profit on that but hopefully more wilson's leather i do know is a great brand i've sold a few jackets a few other jackets that were just like your basic like bomber jackets for um 50 60 bucks in the past so i don't think i'll have a hard time getting money for that um and what i will say with these goodwill ben stuff i'm always going to price them lower just to move them because i paid so little i mean 11 dollars for all four of these here's a banana republic flannel I typically wouldn't pick this up but for a dollar i can get 20 out of that and then this vintage, I don't know if that's vintage or not, but lands in, it looks like a denim shirt. So for each of those last two, I should get close to 15 to 20 bucks for those each. So Goodwill bins, let's see. So let's say I get 40 for the shirts and let's say I get um, 60 for the jacket. It's 120 with the hat. So $11 into 120 at this one stop, 30 minutes. It's good. Let's go on. I got a couple more stores today. All right, leaving that Goodwill, spent about uh, $28, 30 minutes. Didn't get very much compared to what I usually get, but um, yeah, that's okay, happens. Just keep, keep going, keep hustling. 
you don't find it here, you'll find that big item at the next store. All right, so I showed you that LL Bean um, sweater. I picked it up, it was four or five bucks. Should get 35 to 40 for that. It is cotton, so definitely not wool, but hey, still good, still good find. My, uh, my uh, non-clothing item of the store was this um, blood glucose, glucose monitoring system like device and it comes with like 250 different strips so i looked this up i paid 796 um, for the whole thing and i think there was one that i think 300 of those strips sold for like 35 bucks and then that unit sold for like another 20 so kind of hoping around that 50 dollar range for that pickup for eight dollars they had probably um eight to ten cases of depends women's depends in there I thought long and hard on them. They are restricted on Amazon, and I was wondering if they were gonna be restricted on or gated on eBay. So they were $7 a box, and they came with two packs in each case. And um, they were selling for like $24 for a pack, but the packs were, I can't show you, but they were huge. And I was gonna to have to have bigger boxes to ship them in, which shipping could get a little more expensive. So um, I passed on them. I thought long and hard. It would have been a good replenishable to have. But honestly, I think I would have only made, they would have taken up a lot of space. And I probably would have made 5 to $10 per case. And uh, yeah, so I, I passed on. But anyways, that was my, that was my pass on, at that store. Um, I'm going to go to one more store for the day. I probably won't be able to show footage in it because it is a smaller store but it's where I get some vintage stuff. Um, and then I think I'm gonna call it quits for the day. I'm tired. I think this was, Goodwill was store number six, I think. So yeah, it's been a long day and uh, I'm ready to get home and sort all this stuff out. All right, well, I'm home. I opted not to go to that last stop just because I'm tired and I had to go to the grocery store and it's now almost five o'clock. So. I wanted to go ahead and get home. We're going to get dinner going. But uh, right now, I'm going to unload the car and set up everything that I bought. That will give you an idea of how many items I bought today. Then I'll come on at the very end and tell you total items purchased and how much I spent on all those items and then what my average price per item was. So, all right, let's get unloading. Here we go. It's uh, past five o'clock. I've got everything unloaded here in the room. Um, I, I like to do that just so that clothes don't sit in bags and get wrinkled. And then when I have to take photos of them, they're all wrinkled. So uh, yeah, everything's out. So hopefully um, tomorrow I'll start listing all this stuff. But I've got some totals for you and then I'll wrap this video up. But I, sp I spent a total of $360 today at six stores. And I got 72 items, which is actually pretty good. Today I found a lot of items for 50% off. So shirts that would have been four or two, et cetera. And so, I mean, it was a really good day as far as finding a couple of really big items. There were even in the 72 items, the $360, I even spent up on probably three or four items, spent 20, $25 a piece to get a few items. And uh, still with that total 360, my average comes out to just almost exactly $5 per item, which is phenomenal. Um, I showed you, like I said, some of those items like the Harley Davidson sweater, the, uh, the navigation device, um, the Carhartt jacket, those three items right there will go for close to 
two hundred dollars um, combined. So um, it was a great day. I'm exhausted, and as always, I come home from these trips pretty tired. So spending the whole day out, but. I can't complain. It was a great day. As always, guys, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out and I will do my best to answer as quickly as possible. Hey everybody, it's another day and um, I didn't, I guess, successfully finish that video. So this is just me saying that was the end of it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all these items that I have right here. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much, um, that was my day yesterday. So let me show you in a stack all the items that, that I thrifted yesterday. Again, 72 items. I believe $360 spent. Here's my stack, and I just kind of stack up by store. So, um, you know, you can see that's all one store, and then maybe one or two stores in here, and I kind of do it this way, and I usually don't have that much that it has to go on the floor. But here are all the items I got. They're the Leapster items, the video games. Um, got some shoes. These are really good condition shoes. Got these Birkenstock sandals. They're, like I said, almost brand new. I think I showed you those in the video. There's the Goodwill Bins haul. And uh, yeah, I got some really good items. So I'm gonna start listing these today and probably list these over the next two to two and a half days, get them all up on eBay so that they can sell. So if you're watching this far along, thanks so much for uh, joining me on this, um, on this thrift ride along video. I really enjoy bringing you, you into the process of what my day looks like. And honestly, it's another day. I got a good night's rest last night. I needed some sleep. It's just on thrift days when you're out from nine to five or roughly that time, it gets exhausting. And so um, not complaining, but just giving you the reality of it. You know, if you're going to thrift, um, it's going to be exhausting. And some people choose to do it over, you know, they may thrift two or three shorter days. I just choose because there's a lot of driving involved. Most of the stores are 45 minutes away that are really good ones. So I don't want to do that drive two or three times a week. So I've just kind of set in my mind um, as far as those northern stores, I go once a week and I spend all day and I just get it um, and find as much as I can. And then one other day a week or two other days, I'll kind of hit up some of the more local stores that are just t within 10 minutes of my house, um, which are more doable. And then the rest of the time, I just spend listing, shipping, and creating content. So... Um, definitely on the thrifting days, it's fun. That's why I do it because I'm looking for that, those treasure items, but it's exhausting too. So I'm, uh, thankful for you all. Thank you. Thankful for you joining me. And, um, I think that's going to be about it on this video because I think it's getting pretty long, but, um, stay, um, stay in touch with me. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that so you can get more videos like this or what sold videos. And as always, please like this video. Um, I know I say that all the time, guys, but it really helps me to be seen in the YouTube world and by other people who are looking for reselling tips and what solves just to help their business. So if you'd please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. All right, well, that's it. That's all I got for you today. So thank you and have a great day. We'll see you. Bye.